And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 23. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today we got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. can take over and get some points on the board. Jack 
Five, four, four, down Jack Fox on the put for Detroit. And a fair catch call fair for him made just inside the 35-yard line. Now for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts got the green light as a starter from the Philly organization and took really good steps as the next in line of mobile quarterbacks in the city, following names like Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, and Randall Cunningham. He led the team in all quarterbacks in the NFL in rushing, and he took Philadelphia to the postseason while throwing for over 3,000 yards. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 34. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's time for Smith and it's intercepted. And he's able to take this one back to the 36 yard line. Before we came up to the booth, the last game he said, we were walking off the field. We're not playing the state free football league. And that just went out the window. That was it. And you remember what you said to me when we were walking to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, if he had a last word. Every time you hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. That's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception.
side probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Their second drive here, the ball game charge. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up a bit a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. Which is a completion good for seven there. And that'll bring in second down. <laughs> Sets up to throw it. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. He makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to our third and three. Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And able to connect and complete. I give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come down and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here's Aaron Sidney with a sound down to cut on fourth down. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And taken right at the 35. Seven yards on the return after a turn of 39 by the Lions will take it. And Detroit getting set to go now. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now it's gone. Over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And he's able to get this one down the front end. That's a good way to start the line. 17 yards and a first down. Never walk in on any of them. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the only guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down throw, gone. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different colored jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 42. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Left side here to Sanders. They'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. The offense is going to be daunting. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it down for you. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Flush to his right. Dances by him. And now look at this. Big gain by Fender. And this is scooped up by the Lions. That's unfortunate because he had a nice run going. But give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down.
They'll start on the ground with Swift. Takes it to about the 37. The arguments to the defense for stringing that play in. And they gave him no cutback at it. He always trying to dart through it. Nice job there. They're giving up both of your game. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Once again, it's Swift. That's a Second down, back to Sanders. 
Two runs in a row, but only two runs to show for. Sometimes your collections get challenging to the view. Until they did try to stick to the running game with the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing the third and long at the outset of this drive. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. Toward the sideline, it's complete. And Atlantic Brown is still well short. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. I know where they are on this. Terrific catch. Gets his feet down. Sets up a fourth down and short situation. I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You gotta know where the marker is, right? Gotta figure it out. I know every receiver has taught that. Sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded just inside the 30. It's a 39 yard punt and we the return. And they will take over first and 10. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on the lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And this winds up a pick up of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Not much on that one, Charles. No, but I know that's exactly the way they secure it. Let's see how it gets correctly to the The ground honed in on it and stopped it. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On second down, Swift. They'll get about three as he's brought down right around the front two. That play reminded me of a former teammate of yours. He's called the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want for your Mike linebacker. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Goff now looking to throw. Quintez Cephas. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And for a game, that's an answer for the snap. What the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going to field for a deeper out, and then breaks it up. Usually, after about three to four steps, he cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target.
Searching for something more on second and goal here. And they'll turn up here again to try to get in. First and 10 now, down inside the 20. From 
in the red zone now. They'll look to throw. And it's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are back within a score. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finished it? Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom, indeed. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And that'll make it 13-7. Five plays in for that drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Any team, all right? There's body types of the receivers are usually different. 
the way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. They hold their wins when they're established. They can push off and get more out too. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and two. Out to his left. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy cornerback. And you can just see that whole play developing. That's where as a defender, you just lock it on your target and say, I'm not even thinking about breaking stride. I'm running straight for the belt buckle because where it goes, that's where you find his body. And he's able to get in there and make a great play. And his top speed is computed by Next Gen Stats. Not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Looking to throw. A hit as he throws there in Kareem. Looks out for now so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size. Now over for three. The average in the league, somewhere around 40% of the third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either confirm that. Don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards up first and second down. Here's Aaron Simmons now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Lions offense set for a first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. Gone. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. And this will be returned to right around the 38 yard line. That's a drive killer right there. Not a real confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. First down. That's a winning time. That just sets things up for them. Moving forward as they begin the drive. Second down. At the Lions. 35 yard line. Following the pickup of four. Here's second and six. Another run here with Sanders. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down. I do know from experience, when you start on somebody's running game, you're not going to be dictating that defense. I guess I'm not going to be making that team off of the quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. There's still a little bit of disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. First and ten, it saves. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be a second down. Three yards 
that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Taking it about the one. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The 40. The 20. And they can catch him. He's in.
Herbert's going to give it to Sanders on the option. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line scratch.
Here's Swift. 68 yards rushing for him. It's going to be tough to stop during this first half. It's not up in the air tough to get him down here. But now when you start to lean on that running game, that's a good pick up there on first and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Now goal. Steps away. And he can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. They've got a little over 30 yards of turf so far, but the sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. To the sack, third and goal now from the 12. Gone. Under pressure, they got him again. TJ Edwards, he's the one to get him this time, and back to back sacks brings up fourth down. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. Foot down, golf departs, and Austin Seibert is out there for the Lions field goal now. That's just a 35-yard attempt from the left hatch. Seibert able to knock this one through. And that one stands in the end. He's been a busy day here this first half. That's three field goals for him. But not just three field goals. Three for three. Even though the offense is still going to be putting in the end zone, he's still been able to come up with points due to his leg. Defense, the 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 defense,
in the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Second down, back to Sanders. Just a yard and a pick up there. And it'll be a Just keep trying this so far. Defense on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This time it's third and three. From the gun, it's Hurts. As good as man, it's the tight end Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction. I was able to track the ball in another.
to throw again. Now it's caught. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this one too low. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field, though, felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunate for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. It'll be Hurts on the option, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock. Either. Well done. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead will shrink to six. That drive alone was spanning 15 plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Studios for this EA Sports halftime report. First things first, let's get a check on the next gen stats from that first half for Philadelphia. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success growing the football in that opening half. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
defenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. Now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now he's getting the ball to start the second half. How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They put that all together, come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Running on first down is Sanders, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage before he's taken down. Sometimes when you play the game, you just got to stay with it. That's what they do. That's what they do. So it doesn't mean you just do the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments. You do a few different plays, and they stay with the overall essence of running in. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, he's proving real effective running the football. No one open. Don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and a run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. And his offense was staring down. He was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hurts going to keep it again. And able to get this one across the 45 before it's brought down. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. It looked like almost some miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? When you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Play action. Here's Hurts. This is Smith with a run. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shoot for the third. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. When coaches always talk about finding balance on offense, I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that, Dave? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of punch though. Let's go. Let's turn it on. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and ten at the 32-yard line. They're gonna look to throw. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the ball with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's a direction San Diego's determined to run that play up, but he sure did. They struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, but I think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep beating the horse. Yeah, I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially when they get deeper in the game. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but 
understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. So Hurts is off, and here comes James Bowling with a field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will bring the deficit back down to three. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us.
try and run here with Swift. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down and a yard. So where'd all that running from the end the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Third down golf departs, and Austin Seibert is out there for the Lions field goal now. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Seibert's kick is good. And that will add three more to the lead and pushes it up to six. So they can fall out of field goal. Lions are able to steal the lead. The drives have bogged down. He's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. There's more. Sometimes this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game. 
may be expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So the ball moves in the Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. On every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of good calls for setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run with first down. From the 30 on second down, Hurts. To the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and it's going to be a first down. Well done. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Running right, here's Sanders. Yeah, he stopped immediately there. Which 
get you deeper into the secondary. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Once again, it's Swift. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. so far. Will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the 
the third. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Elliot on for the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Just a 14 drive that time. And the drive is all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard.
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They're just trying to get their offense a little he was taken down as we the line. But this is just going to make things worse. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now go off. Caught by St. Brown. And he'll take this one up to about the six yard line. Give him a gain of five on the And now third down and six to go. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man to man coverage. And hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. The Lions on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and six. From the gun, here's Gall. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get it inside the 10. He's short the line he needed. We are going to gain a foot. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and say it and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Eagles will have it taking over. First and ten.
So first and goal, six points here will go a long way toward wrapping this one up. He'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Eagles are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. Very good drive, and now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Elliott now to have the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. Good. Makes so the draw there to a six, please. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. To the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will now be the turn to the to the 25. And Detroit's offense ready to take over. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. This Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A shotgun snap for goal. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he's off into at the 33 following a good pick up of eight. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this try. They find a way to make this one possession game. Can I get a score? Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Here's a second and two now from the 33. To throw is gone. And that is incomplete. A lot of folks bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's the third down. And he's going to have a little open more we are in the first down. Back to the receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And now we'll send him back to the draw. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Running is swift. And he's got the first before he's brought down. It'll go as a game of six that time. It moves the chains as well. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time by the time. So they have the ability still there to run it on second short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right, they did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice. to throw. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. He's tackled in the yard, short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice run of third there, first down. He located his tight end, made it nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. He wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second and a yard. Now it's Swift. And he'll get it out to midfield. It's a long time to play midfield. He's able to get the one yard he needed. But nothing but they did like this drive was better than their own. They were running game up and now picking up some of the slack. Because remember last drive, they went three and a half. From the 50, it's gone. Yeah. 
you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it, stop throwing yeah. the interceptions and turn the ball over. Golf on first down. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And they'll work this down inside the third. Now we're going red defensively. This is all about time. This is just safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him. Able to knife through there and make the play. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Now gone. This offense so far on third down, they've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and eight. They'll get this one to the Golden Dover, St. Brown. Second and long. Golf. They'll find Reynolds over the middle. And he'll be marked down right at the 15 yard line. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. To the air again. Golf. Sucked for the third time thus far. Picked up by Kaiser White. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Oh, let's turn it up. Ben, man. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Sanders, the ball a good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. You can only take that up both sides. He amped up the aggressiveness that time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Another run with Sanders. 
And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 of the 19. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing right here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? The new set of downs, clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, 